two freaking plates that's 100 kilograms now imagine you're in the gym and you see a kid that's eight years old training with his father and they're loading two plates on each side of the bar 100 kilograms that's probably more weight than half the people i know that actually work out what's up folks it's uranus from brussels welcome to another video today we're talking about richard sandrock you might also remember him as little hercules this kid was really something else at six years old he could bench press 82 kilograms at eight years old he could bench press 100 kilograms he was on documentaries television shows supplements and he was made hugely popular in the 90s because of his extraordinary physique at his age but there is a dark side to this story and you would be really surprised at what he looks like today now let's dive deeper into richard sandrock's story so richard was once labeled as the world's strongest boy or little hercules originally he comes from the ukraine and he moved to the us when he was super young like two years old both his parents were into sports as his father was a martial arts specialist and his mother was a gymnastics specialist very young his parents pushed him into sports into lifting and into martial arts they pushed him so much he was known for being the most muscular and the strongest kid his age i mean at eight years old the kid was benching two plates two freaking plates that's a hundred kilograms now imagine you're in the gym and you see a kid that's eight years old training with his father and they're loading two plates on each side of the bar a hundred kilograms that's probably more weight than half the people i know that actually work out it's being said he was training with his father every day for up to seven hours per day and that he was doing 600 push-ups and 300 squats daily now i know people tend to exaggerate but really look at him the people the, the kid had more muscles on him than a lot of people i know that have been working out for years that's really the definition of pushing your kid right there according to his father he had a body fat of one percent now that part is probably complete bullshit nobody's living with one percent body fat basically the kid never had time for a normal childhood for friends or eating nuggets at mcdonald's or playing with a tamagotchi or whatever you know we're talking about the 90s that's the time where kids were still playing outside well richard never had a normal childhood the kid wasn't even a teenager yet and he was used to promote the sales of nutritional supplements he was on television shows and he was a celebrity but he didn't have time to be a child all of this was pushed by his parents and if you ask me i like the idea of supporting your child into building something but this was too far and too expensive balance is important and bodybuilding requires a discipline that you just shouldn't impose on somebody that still has milk teeth now this has not been confirmed this is just something what i think but i personally do not believe that this kid was 100 percent natural i don't believe it's possible at that age to be that muscular i mean we're talking pre-puberty he had an amazing muscular build even before he was 10 years old even before his balls dropped i mean at that age your body simply does not produce any testosterone. I mean, is it possible to be that muscular even before having testosterone in your body? You tell me guys, what do you guys think about this? He wouldn't be the only case where parents are abusive and give him something without his approval, of course. Now, it wouldn't be the first time I see this level of extreme stupidity and child abuse. But then again, I'm just letting my brain from Brussels work. Having seen footage of the boy at age six, it would be highly unlikely that anyone could achieve that type of physique without artificial enhancement. There have been no long-term controlled studies with children taking anabolic steroids, because obviously it would be unethical to do such studies. But one thing we do know is that you need testosterone to build muscle. You tell me guys, what do you guys think? His parents were pushing him so much and his training was so extensively, they just might have given him something. This wouldn't be the first time I see this extreme level of stupidity and child abuse. But then again, I'm just letting my brain from Brussels run wild on this one. Talking about abuse, his father was sent to jail because of domestic abuse. I think he hit Richard's mother so hard that he broke her wrist and her nose. So yeah, fucked up family and Richard was the one calling 
the cops. Now, his parents are from the Ukraine and they wanted his son to shine, they wanted him to be in Hollywood fame, they wanted to make him a media sensation and he was for a brief amount of time but eventually once his father was in jail Richard stopped lifting weights in an interview in 2015 he said it just got boring and that's why eventually he quit lifting weights now if you ask me I think his parents were abusing him and that he was doing it basically because he was forced by his parents it was his parents dream but it never was his dream he never was in love with the sports especially at that age now this is what he looks like now by the way not a bad physique of course but i'm really curious what he would have looked like if he would have continued training up to this day and if he would have discovered the sport by himself and fell in love with lifting by himself and not pushed by his parents i really wonder what the kid would have looked like i think we should support our kids but not push them to the point where they have absolutely no childhood. I mean, by now this kid might have been the next Chris Bumstead if he had started later and if he wasn't pushed by two maniac parents at such a young age. I believe he works as a stuntman now in the movie business and his dream is to work for NASA. Ending it here, let me know in the comments what you thought of Richard Sandrock's story. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I'll catch you on the next one. Uranus out. Because one of my pants did die, so I needed a new one. But the lady, she was asking me if I want to, if it's like to give. I said no, and then she was like, "You don't want it just in the paper for transportation?" I said yes, but then I was looking something, and she put it in the plastic, not in the paper. It's plastic. But, but I'm making a video. People need Uranus. No, so we have new plants. They have so many plants. I need all of them. Oh right? my oh. God! Yes, plants. Where the fuck was I? Huh?